Hello everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to this extra special little video from East Hampstead Baptist Church. We have got some amazing and wonderful mission partners here at EBC and we thought it would be great to let you hear from some of them, starting with a great organisation called Christian Solidarity Worldwide. So settle in for just a short five minute video from a great friend of ours at CSW called Dave Mance. Over to you, Dave. Well, greetings to all our friends at East Hampstead Baptist Church. My name's Dave. I'm head of campaigns at CSW. And uh, my colleague, Stephen, and I were with you in November 2019. We've seen loads of amazing answers to prayer since then, including I remember Stephen asked you to pray for a, a new member of staff for his team. And just this week, uh, a man named Cecil Chowdhury arrived from Pakistan with his family. They've moved here. Uh, to take up that job and probably you, it's no exaggeration to say he's the most qualified man in the world to, to do that job so amazing blessing also uh, our president founder Mervyn Thomas met with Boris Johnson just about three weeks ago uh, uh, that was to, to discuss religious freedom violations in India uh, also amazing breakthrough and answers to prayer on that so I really want to thank you for your prayers First of all, and I, I want to share with you one story of a man named Professor Tartha, who on Christmas Day 2019, 65 plainclothes police along with state media invaded the orphanage that he and his wife Mercy founded back in the 90s. This was in Kano State in northern Nigeria. And Professor Tartha was arrested at that moment and detained on trumped up charges. They removed 27 children from uh, the orphanage that, that they run and placed them in a government run home. And this is all uh, targeting them because of their faith, uh, their uh, Christian family and uh, a ministry they have there. You know, Professor Taffer has truly counted the cost of his of following Christ. And, you know, he has every qualification, every possibility to travel internationally uh, and yet he and his wife Mercy have given their lives uh, to serve in such a hostile environment, to care for children, um, to absolutely invest in those that you know the, the Bible prioritizes, the, the orphan, the widow, the stranger and, and they've yeah they've just been obedient to Christ and even to the point of yeah suffering in prison and going through hunger and all kinds of trials and so you know we really want to stand beside them and uh, we've asked supporters to write to the Nigerian High Commission we asked you to pray we uh, in terms of our advocacy work we worked with the British High Commission Abuja to raise his case we worked with the UK Prime Minister Special Envoy for freedom of religion or belief he raised the case we worked with all parliamentary uh, all-party parliamentary group for international freedom of religion or belief and uh, we're really pleased that uh, at the same time we knew that Professor Tafa he actually went on a 150 day time of prayer and fasting while he was being detained on these ridiculous charges and uh, he was actually wonderfully released on bail on the 10th of December 2020 so almost a year he spent in detention and he said that on the 140 that was on the 149th day and on the 150th day of his fast they had a party and broke fast together with some you know real dancing and uh, and and special kind of local dishes uh, but just dancing for joy to be reunited and professor Tarfa said you know i want to appreciate the family of CSW for standing beside us by praying for us by campaigning to make my freedom from prison and so that, that's a message for all of us. Uh, we're all uh, a ministry together, working for religious freedom, uh, whether that's uh, through prayer, whether you're campaigning, whether it's our specialist advocates, you know, doing that lobbying work, but we all work together. And uh, I want to ask you to continue to pray for this family because uh, 16 of those children that were taken still remain in government custody. They're not being cared for, you know, as they should be. They are separated from the only parents they've really ever known. And I really want you to pray. Uh, there's a another hearing on the first of April, and we're really we're really going in prayer that this that all all the charges will be dropped at this point, and that the children will finally be released. We want you to 
please join us in prayer for that. We're so grateful for your partnership. And um, yeah, we're just trusting God that, you know, although so many of these, you know, like that case I shared at the start, you know, it took over a year for for that answer to come. But, you know, God came through for us. And I just, yeah, we really appreciate your prayers and ask you to please keep persevering. And we know that as Paul says in Galatians 6, 9, you know, let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we'll reap a harvest if we do not give up. Amen. Well, huge thanks to Dave for putting that together for us. Such a lovely guy. Please do keep tabs on CSW's website, uh, csw.org.uk. And why not subscribe to it so you get updates and prayer pointers about what they're doing around the world. And now I just want to close with a prayer. Father God, we thank you so much for our great friends at CSW. And we pray for Dave and Stephen and all their team there, as well as their partners around the world. Please, would you bless them, Father, as they go about striving for freedom to believe. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much, everybody. Keep safe, keep praying, and we will see you soon. Bye for now.